All right, Wes, things getting spicy down the stretch tonight. We might not know just yet who the Chiefs will face, but we do know one of the four opponents has been eliminated. Highlights from that super wildcard weekend next, plus the Jayhawks going all the way down the wire in their alumni game. Chiefs relaxing this weekend with the bye, watching super wildcard weekend unfold as they find out who is headed here in KC for their first playoff game this season. Let's start with the NFC super wildcard weekend. Number two, San Francisco hosting number seven, Seattle will go Second quarter down 13-7. Geno Smith connected mid-stride. DK Metcalf, the only man who can make that catch. To the end zone. Seahawks take the lead. 23-17 Niners now. Brock Purdy under pressure. But he finds Elijah Mitchell extending their lead. The Niners kept the foot on the gas in the second half. 49ers advancing 41-23. Here's the game that shook the world, right? AFC side. Chargers at the Jags. Four seed hosting the five seed. Let me show you how things started. Here's the cliff notes. Trevor Lawrence was picked off during the opening drive. The Chargers capitalized. They score. Let's show you how it went into the second half, or the half, actually. Lawrence again picked off four times before halftime. L.A. led 27-0. Let's go to the second half, though. It's a different story. It's a different Lawrence. Second half, Lawrence to Christian Kirk. Touchdown, Jags. Two-point conversion after that. Good. It's a two-point game. He threw four touchdowns in a second-half effort. Jacksonville ices it. 36-yard field goal by Riley Patterson. Jags win 31-30. It is the third biggest comeback in postseason NFL history. So with two games out of the way already, here's a look at the NFL playoff picture. The Chiefs are going to play the lowest-seeded team left. It could be the Jags, but it could also be the Ravens or the Dolphins, depending on how tomorrow's games play out. Let's transition to some hoops now. Kansas hoops with a busy Saturday, the winningest program in college basketball, welcoming back some of the greats as they celebrate 125 years of play. The Jayhawks hosting Iowa State at the Fog to get the party started. It's going to be Kevin McCuller cleaning the floors early off the steal, takes it to the coast, gets the lay in in a one point game. We'll stay still in the first half. We'll go in transition, something the Kansas Jayhawks do well. Jalen Wilson to KJ Adams for the bucket. Two more for the Natty Champs. Seconds later, it's the freshman. Gets his first points of the night. Corner three, Grady Dick. Timeout, Iowa State. A hard-fought game, staying all the way through to the final second. 62-60, Kansas comes out on top. And our own Aaron Ladd in Lawrence at the Fog. Thank you, Aaron. Your 20-ranked Mizzou Tigers were down in the swamp visiting Florida today. 7-0 lead inside to Kobe Brown. Kobe with another easy two. Gators call a timeout after that one. Tigers went out to a 9-0 lead. Four minutes left in the first half. It's Noah Carter in trouble. Brown to the rescue. Two-handed slam. Just for a little extra insurance, right? Second half now. Down by one. Florida shot no good. Trago Million pushes it up to DeAndre Golston. Here comes Golston to Carter for the dunk. Mizzou puts it ahead again, but the second half effort fizzles out. Tigers fall 73 to 64. Wildcats, they were on the road also in Fort Worth. Early first half, Cats easy. Desi Sills makes it an even bigger lead. Jumping ahead, K-State down by six just four minutes later. Keontae Johnson decides to go against the baseline, gets the reverse. Inside for two. Horn Frogs break away, though, before the half. They go up as much as 25 points. Wildcats fall 82-68. TCU gets the upset. They break K-State's nine-game win streak. Saturday hoops continue. High school hoops going on. Staley playing St. Rita in the Bass Pro Shop Tournament of Champs. Early on, Larry Parker connects from deep. Game all knotted up at 26 by the half. We'll go to end the third. Some good ball movement finds Cameron Manyow underneath for the lay-in. The senior with 13 points. The Falcons will leave Springfield as the champs going 2-1 in the weekend. 63-48. They took fifth in a national tournament. That's not easy to do. Fifth in the entire nation. Staley Falcons, uh, they're out to a hot start this season.